Ah, oh, boy. Let's see. What do I have as my low, my high, my act of kindness today? Well, I guess my low is that nothing, well, nothing bad really happened, I guess. You know what? Here's what my low really is. Like, believe it or not, I had an idea of what I wanted to talk about today. But then I thought, wait, in due time, I'm going to be talking about a lot of the shows I watched growing up and some of the shows I'm watching now as a way to sort of make up for the fact that the class and session videos are over. So I'll save that for when I talk about that particular show. Although, let's just say last night I was very entertained, which was part of my high. As well as the fact that I did receive some very, very, very good news that I can't quite share with you yet. Although, if you're paying attention, you may have an idea of what that was. And my act of kindness was actually regarding that news and. I was told not to say anything, and out of respect for them, I will, I will follow that. So I will do what they say. Anyway, um, good morning, and happy Tuesday, everyone. <sighs> I mean, it really is kind of bizarre that, like, I don't know, part of me is still sort of, like, shook up in a good way about yesterday's manga chapter, because here's the thing, and I probably said this yesterday, I was very much on board or convinced that Sanji and Zoro were going to fight Queen and King, respectively. And then I'm just marveled by the fact that Ichiro Oda is a master of manipulation and misdirection. Because even though the matchup that I thought we were going to get is happening right now, Oda did a great job of, like, sort of tricking me into believing that it wasn't going to happen. So, you know, give props for props to do. And, yeah, it makes sense. You know, that's usually how One Piece always works. Luffy always fights the big bad. And Zoro and Sanji wind up fighting the, you know, the second and third best guys, essentially. So, there you go. Although it was actually once asked who's stronger between Zoro and Sanji. Just because Zoro's dream is grander, it just makes him a little bit more strong a little bit stronger than Sanji. So there you go. Um So I guess there's that. But you don't want to wanna hear about that. You want to hear about other things. Well, um for once there's no rain right now. Seriously, like it started off pretty good yesterday. Like, humid and warm, but, like, not bad by any stretch of the imagination, right? And so, I'm, like, like, do I need to bring... Like, seriously, it got to the point where, like, if I had to go outside, I had to take my jacket with me for fear of, like, if I had to leave my car when it was raining. Because it was raining, like, on and off, all throughout the course of the day. It was unbelievable. I mean, I feel life me could not tell you just how, like, crazy this was. So, uh, um, let's see. Sorry, I'm working on, like, something else in the background, but I pay attention to the camera. Um, right. Uh, anything else going on? Well... Yeah, for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good about, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, things lately. I mean, I am feeling much better that, you know, my vacation's been, well, it's been long over for over a week. If I'm still complaining about that, we have a problem. <sighs> um, yeah. 
Um, and we have other things to celebrate this. I mean, I mentioned a while ago there was a lot to look forward to in the coming weeks. And one of them is my grandmother's birthday this weekend, which I am very much looking forward to. She'll be turning um, 87 this, uh, this, well, technically her birthday's on the 31st. But this weekend we're going to celebrate it. Which, all right. Honestly, if it were me, I'd rather celebrate. Like, and I've said this before. If my birthday was, like, in the beginning of, like, the next week, I'd be like, just wait until the next weekend. I can wait. We can celebrate in gusto more anyway. Honestly, I mean, I think in this day and age, even though modern medicine is a lot better, and even though, like, people live much longer than they ever used to, you know, we do sort of tend to take for granted, like, how long we live, sort of. You know what I mean? So, honestly, I try and make an effort, like, you know what? Whether my birthday is good or bad, hopefully it's good. You know, I'll just be humbled by the fact that, you know, I did make it through another year in life, and let's have another year. Although... Having my last birthday be the best one I had in a couple of years, that definitely helps a lot, right? <laughs> Watch, I jinxed it now. This Dr. Pilling birthday is going to be bad somehow. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure that doesn't happen. That's why you knock on wood, kids. Uh, anything around this week? Well, obviously there's no hot ones. I mean... I mean, no hot ones can't always be considered a bummer for me, but at the same time, I get it. You know, Hot Ones is a great show. I love that show, but not everything can be, you know, revolved around it. Although, I am really kind of glad that, you know, we were given some... I mean, I really just hope the good people of First We Feast have, like, the proper time off that they need. You know, actually, fun fact, Sean Evans, who's actually a, um, a Chicago White Sox fan a couple weeks ago, actually threw out the first pitch at a White Sox game. Hmm. Sometimes it makes me wonder, like, let's say I ever actually reach that level of Internet fame. Like, some things, like, am I really going to be able to do some of that stuff? Well, Here's the, I will be able to do it, but it's just going to be so surreal that, like, I'll be really doing it. Like, again, throwing the first pitch at a Major League Baseball game. Or, actually, personally, I would rather just sing the National Anthem at any national game. Be it um, baseball or football or hockey. I'd do the National Anthem for those. Easy. To be honest, I've actually kind of been working on that. You know, how I would do, oh, oh. how I would sing the Star Spangled Banner if I ever, you know, did one of those sorts of things. But, you know, if I had to throw out the first pitch, that'd be cool, too. Um, You know, it was actually kind of cool. Um, on Saturday, it was like, we're sort of like getting ready for church, my father and I. We're like watching TV. Or what? Actually, was it Saturday or Sunday we were doing this? You know, I think it was Sunday. Never mind. It was on a Sunday. We were watching um, ESPN2. I mean, come on, during that time of year where everyone's talking about football, we got to get our sports fix on, right? So, my father and I are watching this one sort of documentary on a minor league team in which, like, this one guy started out as, like, trying to make everything, like, more fun and more exciting. And then, like, there's, like, games and stuff. There's, like, dancing. Players are announcing themselves to the mound or to the, to the, to the, um, to the uh, batter's box and stuff like that. I'm like, that's really cool. And then, like, they go to Savannah and because Savannah, like, wanted to give them a shot. 
even though when they first got there, they had like nothing there for them. So it kind of looked like they didn't have a shot at all. And so they had a, um, they had a name contest, right? And <laughs> the team, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Look this up. The minor league team in Savannah, Georgia is the Savannah Bananas. <laughs> that way you can yell, go bananas. <laughs> it's dope. I'm not going to lie. I like that. That's really cool. And, you know, again, you sell like the dance, like, seriously, they have like old lady cheerleaders. They've got like, um, again, the players are announcing or like, they're like, oh, I'm going to hit this ball. Like, like, they have like a microphone hand, like walking to the, like in the batter's box and stuff like that. It's really cool. Like, man, why couldn't, see, you know what? I get the, you know, I'm watching this. And then a part of me is thinking like, my God, is this what Blurns Ball is going to be according to Futurama? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be like that. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, this was, it was really fun, really informative. And I'm thinking, man, seriously, if baseball was like that. I totally go to like a lot. We all go to a lot more games. I mean... I kind of see why, like, they don't really do that because doing these sorts of activities could be considered expensive. And, you know, managing a team is already expensive in of itself. So I can kind of see why you don't see what the Savannah Bananas do, you know, more often. But at the same time, it's fun. It really is. For the most part, it really is, you know, harmless. And, you know, it's still very profitable, I guess. <sighs> I mean, here's the thing. It's profitable because it's a minor league team doing this. You're never going to see a major league team doing this. Because if you're in the major leagues, you care about, like, two things. Um, winning and, let's be honest, players want that green. And I'm not just talking about the green that surrounds the diamond. No, I'm talking about Moolah. I'm talking about De Niro. I'm talking about cold, hard cash. If you're a good enough baseball player, you get a lot of it. So that's why you're probably never going to be seeing that sort of stuff in the majors. But maybe someday. Although, I will be honest, I'm still kind of perplexed by like, did this wind up becoming Blurns Ball on Futurama? I mean, this is what Blurns Ball probably should be. <laughs> Don't yeah, just just look up Blurns Ball on YouTube for Futurama. Yeah, you'll you'll know exactly exactly what I'm talking about. Uh woo, woo, woo. Like I said earlier, my low was the fact that I really did see a really good movie yesterday that involves a certain show that's on TV right now. But considering that I'm highly considering like doing a lot of the Nickelodeon shows I watched when I was a kid and even now, you know, in the few, like in the coming months, I'll probably save my thoughts on this particular movie for that particular show. And if you've been paying, if you've been paying attention to Netflix at all, you probably have an idea of what it is. Although it's weird. Like this was clearly a Nickelodeon movie, but it was on Netflix. I was almost a hundred percent convinced it was going to be on Paramount plus for the record. I don't have either one of those things. There's like a, there's a cartoon site on the internet where like, after a while, cartoons get uploaded to that site, and, you know, you can watch them there. And that's pretty much what, I, that's what I've done for a lot of things. I've watched it. that for Centaur World. I did that for Kid Cosmic. I did that for Arlo the Alligator Boy. So, in case any of you guys are wondering how I'm able to watch any shows without a streaming service, now you know. I mean, you can look up these sorts of things on the internet all the time. I mean, it's not really... I mean, as far as I know, it's not illegal. I mean, I'm sure they, 
I'm sure there's probably like some sort of copyright laws or something. Well, sometimes on this site, like the service can like get kind of bad. I don't know why. It just sort of happens. Anyway, like, favorite, share, the subscribe button, follow me on social platforms, remember you guys need to do. I'm very humble in this video for all of you guys watching. We have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember you guys want to talk to channel, we'll be here to let you know. I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.